Hello everyone, I hope you're keeping well. I have a bit of a haul here from Winners and Marshalls and actually a record store. They actually still have them. Uh, so I'm going to start with uh, the uh, music that I got. Um, I absolutely love 80s music. I think it's the best music in the world. Probably my favorite group of all time is uh, U2. I have all their albums. I just love them. So uh, I've been looking through my old 80s music and they're all in cassettes and um, they're falling apart and you know I have like CD um, CD machines rather than cassettes, cassette machines, you know, the big boom boxes we had in the 80s. Um, so I've been trying to replace my 80s music with uh, cassettes with CDs. So I've been slowly doing that um, whenever I find them. Um, I've gotten David Bowie uh, lately, um, the Eurythmics, uh, the greatest hits of the Eurythmics, and uh, so I'm just slowly trying to replace all my 80s music with CDs and that. So um, the uh, one day I heard on the radio a song by the Waterboys and this album was uh, produced in 1985 I think so I was all of 21 years old. Um, this is such a good album. It's a fairly underrated group. I'm sure a lot of people haven't heard of them but they are so good. They're, every song on this album is amazing. The lyrics are amazing. Um, so I was actually able to find this on Amazon.ca. Um, so if you never heard of them, just Google them. They are, they are such an amazing group and the songs are phenomenal. And then I was in the mall today and I heard the Pet Shop Boys. <laughs> And I thought, oh my God, I love those guys. I used to go dance into the bars and, and always requested one of those Pet Shop Boys songs. So I was actually able to find in Sunrise Records, yes, there is a record store still out there. Um, and this is the um, sort of the best hits of the Pet Shop Boys, like West End Girls, Suburbia, It's a Sin, which is probably my favorite Pet Shop Boy song. What have I done to deserve this? Always on my mind, etc. So yeah, um, I just oh, I love eighties music, just the best. Anyway, um, so I also went uh, to Marshalls. I was just going to check out the candles, but they really didn't have anything exciting there. Um, but I did find this T-shirt, and I was pretty excited. Um, this is a Sherlock shirt. And uh, the BBC, um, well, I watched it on BBC Canada, but I think it's on Netflix now. Um, but uh, the modern day Sherlock with uh, Benedict Cumberbatch, and I have like a major crush on him. That Frank knows, don't worry. Frank does know <laughs> this. I think he's adorable and he's smart and um, I, uh, very good actor. Anyway, um, it is such a good show. If you haven't watched it, I really highly recommend it. Um, uh, uh, Sherlock is played by Benedict Cumberbatch and Watson is played by um, Martin Freeman. And the way they interact is just absolutely hilarious. Um, it's just so well done. And in one of the shows, um, one of Sherlock's clients calls him a psychopath and he says, no, I'm not a psychopath. I'm a highly functioning sociopath. Um, and I remember that line. I thought it was just hilarious. And um, here it is in a t-shirt. So yes, that's um, I just really, really love that show. It's so good, so well done. And then I found this <clears throat> very, very soft, very comfortable shirt, kind of a charcoal gray with the pink. Um, and it's just very, very comfortable, and it's just nice for kind of lazing around and uh, relaxing. And I like the color combination there. Now, I've been trying looking, looking for some slide-on mules, mule shoes, I guess you call them. Um, and I look, I've been looking for a flowered uh, pair, 
and um, I've seen some but I don't like the colors or I don't like the floral design but I saw these in winters and they were just $30 and I absolutely love them. I do love burgundy and I was really really happy to find these. So these are just like the slide on mules and they're this lovely burgundy. So there's um, the lighter burgundies like a soft suede and then the darker burgundy flower design is like a patent leather and then they have the gold buckle here and they're very very comfortable would look nice uh, with a dress pant or just a pair of jeans i absolutely love these i'm so so glad i uh, i was finally able to find them and in this color too and um oh just in uh bazoo they opened a store in the mall and uh, they had these for half price, so I think they were $6 half price. So this little stud part goes um, in front, and then this flower drops um, down behind your earlobe. And I just thought they were really, really, whoops, not going to focus, really, really pretty. There we go. And then this is another pair um, similar. They're kind of a goldy, golden color. So the stud goes in the front, and then the uh, flower drops uh, behind the earlobe there. Uh, Bazoo does, if you have a bazoo around you, check it out because they really do have some nice jewelry. And then um, I found this at Marshalls or Winners. Um, when you're done cleaning the brushes, normally I just put them on an angle on the tub and let them dry. Um, but these ones, you, you stick, stick it through and these are kind of um, self-closing um, rubber there and it comes in different sizes depending on the size of your brush and you put put it, the brush down bristle down and um, it dries quicker that way and more efficiently um, you don't want to dry your brushes with um, the bristles up because the water runs down into the ferrule and that loosens the bristles so um, I thought this was a, a great idea for drying the brushes and also this is winners or Marshall's one of those um, uh, you take your beauty uh, sponge and normally when I'm done with it and I rinse it out I just kind of throw it on the counter and let it dry that way but this one you just pop it in um, and it dries um, so you don't get dust and dirt and everything else all over it but I thought that was really cute it was about four dollars and that included the the sponge and then the last little thing is this little oil blotting sheets and it says uh, oil belongs in a car not on your face and this was about three or four dollars so it actually has a uh, fairly decent sized mirror it has this sponge with this little handle on it and then this is sticky so you just put the blotting sheet on here blot your face take this off and stick it on the new sheet and it's ready to go next time and it's nice and compact for your purse or you know when you're traveling and that so Okay, that's it. Um, so yeah, let me know below what your favorite 80s uh, group is. Um, it's hard to narrow it down. I have so many. I have like a huge container full of cassettes from the 80s. So um, yeah, it's, it's hard to narrow it down because I just loved 80s music. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed and take care and uh, we'll see you soon.